How's it going everybody? Vape Dr. Chris here. Today I will be showing you how to build a four tail super slug on an IGO T. Alright, now let's take a look at what we need for this build. Here we have two pieces of two millimeter eco wool, two pieces of silica, two pieces of 28 gauge canthal wire, some tweezers, clippers, screwdriver, a 1 8 drill bit, and a lighter. Alright, now let's take a look under the cap. So as you can see here, there's three posts. Each post has a hole in each one and three screws. I've already loosened up the screws so I could fit my coils in between later on. Now let's get started with our build. So first off, we take our canthal and we're going to stiffen it up by heating it with this lighter. This way it won't be so springy when we're wrapping our coils. Uh, you'll notice it glowing red and that should be enough. Now take your 1 8 drill bit and we're going to do a 3 4 wrap around it. Now what a 3 4 wrap means is you will see three complete loops for your coil. And you want to wrap wrap your coil as tight as you can around this drill bit and that'll prevent any possible hot spots that may occur later on which could cause some problems while you vape. Okay. Now your end product should look something like this. Alright. And Next, I have just like a scrap piece of canthal here, and I just bent it in half. Let's move this down. Okay, so take your eco wool and your silica, one piece of each, and we're gonna slide it through here. And when you position it, you want to have the eco wool in front of the silica. That'll protect the silica when you pull it through the coil because the silica is a little more fragile. Alright, so we're just gonna take our coil and thread it through. Might need to wiggle it a little bit. Shouldn't be too hard. And you will have something that looks like this. Four tails, hence the name. Now I have both coils wrapped, so let's go ahead and mount them on the unit. So we're just going to stick them through the post, just like so. Take your tweezers and pull it in as much as you can. All right. And now we can chop off this excess canthal we have right here. We don't need this. Now we're going to tighten down the negative screw 
for a negative post. Those are the two outside ones. And let's put our second coil on. Since there's already a, a little piece going through the middle post, we're just going to bend it down into the side to make room for our second coil. Okay. And let's trim a little bit off here to make it easier to put in. Tighten down the negative pose on this side as well. And now the positive center pose. Okay, let's fire our unit to make sure everything's working out. Okay. Now you see both coils are glowing evenly. That's what we're going for. If you notice, there's a. Uh, there's any space between your coils, just squeeze them back together with your tweezers. Perfect. Okay, now let's get into how we're going to wrap, wrap our wicking and tucking it. So take one piece of silica, pull it between the positive and negative post, Pull it around, and this piece of canthal that's sticking through the negative post, we're just going to shove it downward to hold that silica in place, and do the same for the other side. Now what pulling, pulling the silica through the middle does is it allows you to drip from your drip tip and through and so when it lands in the middle it will trail the leaf, the juice will trail to the coils and so you don't have to take off your top cap every time if you have a wide enough bore drip tip and we're going to clip off the excess silica over the well Alright, so we got one tail down. Now take these three other tails and bend it like so. And we're just going to tuck it into the well and clip off the excess. Alright, and we're going to use our tweezers just to tuck it some more underneath the coil. Let's do the other side. Bend it. Tuck it. Clip off the excess. Your end product should look a little something like this. Let's fire it again. Make sure we didn't disrupt the coils. It looks like they're glowing evenly. That's what we're going for. All right. Have a little bit extra right here. Okay, now let's get to oxidizing our wicking. So just take some juice. And drip it on. I have some blue magic juice, the roast here. One of my favorite coffee flavors of all time. Alright, now fire your unit and light it. 
what this does is it gets rid of any possible impurities that might have been left over from the factory and while you dry burn you want to move it around just to make sure that it's burning evenly and you'll notice that your equal wool and silica it'll start to go back to its uh, shiny metallic white color well, that should be enough use the battery a little bit you see it's glowing again Tail super slug is ready to use. So let's re drip again. So I got about 15 drops on there. It might, might have been a little much, but you get the general idea. Alright, let's throw our top cap on and See how it works. All right, guys, let's blow some clouds. There you have it, Fortel Super Slug on an iGo T. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter for more product videos. Enjoy!